In this video, I'm going to show you how I switch between my last two TMAX sessions. And I'm also going to show you how I switch between my last two NeoVim buffers. This is really useful because usually I'm working between two different directories and I'm also working between two different files. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to show you my list of sessions in TMAX with control B S. Here you can see this session. I'm logged in to a remote host, Docker 3. I have another session here for my Obsidian directory. This one is for my home directory, for example. So let me show you how this is useful. I'm going to switch to this session, Obsidian main. Now I'm going to switch to another session, Docker 3, and I can alternate between the last two sessions using Control B space. So notice I'm switching between the last two sessions. So how do I use this? Let's say that I need to paste some commands that I have here on my Obsidian directory back into my Docker 3 host. Let me open NeoVim. I'm going to open my recent files. Let's say that, for example, I'm following this guide. I need to see the list of services back on my other host. Just copy the command, switch to the other session, paste it, and I continue working on my guide. Copy this other command, for example. I paste it there. And I continue here. So that allows me to switch between two different directories really easily. Let's say that, for example, I'm creating a YouTube video and I have a guide and I need to paste some commands in my terminal. Let me open another session that I have here. This one can I open it and I'm going to open my home directory as well, which is the session here. So I can switch between these two sessions easily if I need to paste some commands from my guide back into my terminal. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say that I'm following this. This is for the last video that I created. And I need to copy this command. I switch with control B space to my home directory, paste the command. Then I switch back to my file to the other directory or other session with control B space. I get the other command and I alternate between sessions that way. Instead of doing control B space, I switch that to hyper B space as it's easier for my pinky. I modified that key map using carabiner elements. Let me show you right now. I have another session open here with the rules. So it's shown right here. As you can see, when I press hyper B, that is switched to control B. If you don't know what carabiner is and how to configure it, I have a video. You will be able to see it on the top right corner. So let me go back to the file. Now let me show you how I configure Tmux so that it sorts the session by date instead of name. Let me navigate to my .files latest session, which I have here. And here is my tmux configuration file. I'm going to leave a link to this file in the video description so you can just copy and paste. So the configuration that I changed is alternate, searching for that alternate session. This is how I configured it. To switch between the last two tmux sessions, you can use this command, switch client L. L stands for last session. You can see that in the manual pages for Tmux. So when I press hyper B space, that's what allows me to switch between sessions. In addition to this, I also wanted my Tmux session sorted by time because by default, they're sorted by name and that is not helpful. The way you do that is here. And here's where you specify time. You can also sort them by index or name as shown here. Now, as you can see, navigating between Tmux sessions using Hyper VS is useful, but it gets complicated over time. So I configured key maps or shortcuts to switch between Tmux sessions. I do this using the Primagen's Tmux Sessionizer script. I have a video for that. You'll be able to find it on the top right corner. So this allows me to press a shortcut to navigate to the session that I want to. Let's say that I want to navigate to this home directory the way I configured it is with hyper th, as you can see the letter h there. Or if I want to navigate to the dot files latest, that's with hyper tj. Or if I want to go to my Obsidian directory, I configured it with hyper tu. Let me show you what that means. So I'm going to press here on my keyboard, hyper th takes me to my home directory. Now hyper b space takes me back to my previous session. I can alternate between those two sessions. Let's say that now I want to jump back to my Obsidian directory, press hyper tu, takes me there. When I go back to the previous session, I do it with hyper b space. And let's say that now I want to go back to my dot files latest directory, I do hyper tj, and it takes me there. And I can alternate between the last two sessions 
using Hyper-B space. So instead of opening the list of sessions with Hyper-B S, I navigate to the session that I want with a single key map. Now let me switch to NeoVim and I'm gonna show you how I alternate between the last two files. I do something similar to what I do with my TMAX sessions because I'm usually working between two different files inside the same NeoVim instance. So I install the Buff Explorer plugin. I get there with Shift H, shows me the list of buffers that I have open in this NeoVim instance. Okay, so let's say that I wanna alternate between the Docker and this other buffer XOA. I just alternate between them using space space. And I'm switching between the last two buffers. Let's say that I wanna alternate between Docker and XCPNG. I go to that other file and I alternate between the two because I'm usually working between two different files. If I need to switch back to XOA, and that's how I switch between buffers. I know that there is also stuff like the Primogen's Harpoon plugin, but I don't do advanced stuff, so I don't find it useful at this point. But eventually when my workflow gets more complex, I'm going to use it and probably make a video. Now I'm gonna show you how I configured NeoVim to alternate between the last two buffers using space space in case you wanna change that. Let me navigate to my .files latest directory. I'm going to open the key maps file, which is here. And here I have a comment to alternate between two files. I'm using the lazyvim.org distro. By default, it comes configured to switch between alternate buffers with leader BB, but I navigate between alternate buffers too often, so I need something easier. That's why I configured it to use leader space. The problem is that by default, leader space is used by telescope to find files in the root directory. I didn't find another way to change it. I tried disabling the key map, didn't work, so I just decided to configure leader space in my telescope config file. Let me show you that real quick. So it's right here. This is the key map. Leader space switches to the alternate buffer. Here's the command. If you want to know what this command does, I have it back in my other file. Let me go there. And here it is. This is the alternate register and colon E is used to edit a file. So that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. I'm going to leave a link to my dot files latest directory in the video description so you can just copy and paste all of this stuff. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and I'll see you in the next video.